Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Friday. Happy Friday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going great. It's a little bit slow today. I feel like I got up and I was tired. This week has been a long, long week for me. Lots of shopping, lots of running, lots of here, there, everywhere, all around. <laughs> and so usually Friday, I like to get up and make my food for the weekend. And I'm like, ah, I'm not feeling that today. And we, plus we are going to go out. We have a homeschool gathering today so we are gonna go roller skating today rollerblading today we haven't done that they've um i think they go once a month it looks like the last couple times one it was like 50,000 degrees here we kind of just had moved here it was busy the next time we had doctors and so we weren't able to go this time i'm like we're gonna go so i'm like branch out a little bit they've got a bunch of different groups here and you know see what see how that goes so i'm not going to do a lot of cooking this morning because we're gonna have to leave to go there um, and go. Oh, let me go shut my door. Hold on. Shut the door. I had it open for Maxine. But I will do uh, dinner and stuff tonight, and I'll film that. But today's video is gonna be a whole lot of stuff in here. I started doing the video, and then I was talking, and I'm like, wait a minute, I forgot I filmed putting all the groceries away. So I'm gonna insert all of that footage <laughs> right now. This was the last. I think <laughs> it's been a long week. Put all the groceries, filled the containers up. So let me show you. Like reorganize, because every time we go from grocery shopping, it was like throw it in the refrigerator, throw it in the freezer, wherever, put wherever you can, you know what I mean? And so that was like, let me get it all organized so I know everything is. So let me show you all of that footage right here. Okay, start in the kitchen and I'm like, okay, where do I even start? And this is the day I was really tired, I didn't want to do anything, but I'm like, let's just start. So pick up the, the mass majority, which we'll see, bag. So I got all of those picked up and then I'm like, where do I even begin? I'm like, let me just start right here in the corner. This was all the Halloween candy that we got for cheap so i thought well let me open up one container one bag and pour it in this glass jar and stick it right in the counter i'll probably try to fill this up kids are going older where they're not sneaking candy all the time they're not like little anymore so this worked out good to have here and then this cuban bread we ate half of it and so i'm like well, let me just wrap it up and i put it in the freezer and then always good to clean everything out of your sink so i'm just loading the dishwasher here getting everything into it i was going to get some more dishes around there and i thought let me just get it rolling so that part can be done. So the dishes is always clean. And then I'm like looking around my kitchen and I'm like, I feel like it's such a mess. Like there's like just stuff everywhere. You know what I mean? Now it is when you're like, cupboards have stuff on it. They're all mismatched, everything wrong everywhere. So I'm like, let me do just a quick walkthrough on everything. So I was getting out my Norwex cloth here and then just wipe off my counters clean everything up real good like just do it you know what and you know how it is you get a nice clean and you're like okay i feel so much better here so i'm just wiping everything down real good just with water getting it clean so i can have a fresh palette <laughs> for when i do things i'm like that works really good wiping things down and I should, you know, I could have used it. I just wiped the front of the dishwasher down. I could have used stainless steel cleaner, but I, I was like, oh, it's fine. Then I kept looking at it. I'm like, mm, I should have went back and used the stainless steel, but I'm like, another day. I'm getting my little towels out. I'm trying to be more intentional and putting my towels out. Now I know under the sink was a mess because I kept looking in there. So I'm like, let me just take everything out real quick. And not all of it, just the stuff that was messy and just straighten it. So that's what I was doing here. Just kind of looking to make sure everything is put away properly and the spoons and things like that. Like, kids put things away they don't there's not like a set everything there's you know i have my kitchen is just a little bit more set up and they're not used to everything because i keep changing things so i'm just going through and just making sure okay is this put away right does that belong over there and that's just for me to be able to find things easier <laughs> not necessarily so much them so i'm looking at the cup cupboard i'm like there's plastic those glass dishes with the plastic lids are just kind of all thrown up on top i'm like that's gonna be another day i just close that cupboard it's like out of sight out of mind and then filling my coffee pot up here so it's got water and then just kind of see i'm moving in a pattern all the way around the, like a start at 12 o'clock and move yourself around like a clock would and then i'm coming to these ones see, this is my baking supply cupboard and it has like our i'm filling the chocolate chips up here and my flour and brown sugar things like that so with none of these things last for very long it's not like this will be in here for six months at all if it did i would not be restocking on top of it i know some people like to put fresh on take that out and put that stuff in there but like this pancake is the same stuff from the same bag so i'm just put it right on top of them like that's not going to go bad and i think the sugar sugar is not going to go bad it's okay to put you can store sugar for years <laughs> for years people so it's okay to put that on top so i'm just getting that in there and i spilled stuff on the floor i'm like ah sugar on the floor throw that mess away and then come to the pasta cupboard and then i'm gonna take and um fill things up here and then as i'm in the cupboard there was a few things that i was like let me move that over to like my other storage cupboard so when I bought this pasta, I wish I would have bought just a big box of pasta versus like, you know, five individual smaller packages, but it's okay. So whatever you can do. 
And again, just pouring on top because we'll use this up. Nothing's going to go to waste here. I apologize for the lighting. I should have pulled the curtains down because it makes it dark for you guys. It's one of those things I'm not always, I'm like, oh, there goes the light. It's good to go. So I was just reorganizing, just kind of put a few things so I know where everything was at. Putting the pasta in there. Why do you put it in containers? Because in the south, they have more bugs. <laughs> so that's always better to keep it in a closed container. Learn that the hard way. And then we've got all this bread here, so I'm just trying to look at the dates on it. And I thought, okay, let me leave some of this out. And the non bread, that was going to go bad and that was going to stay like longer, the Aldi one. So I left the Aldi one out and then the, um, the smaller one, I'm going to freeze it and then we can just microwave if we need it. And this cupboard, you can't really see much, but it's like our big container. It's got rice, it's got, you know, the spray like oils and our oils that we use, our coconut oil, all that kind of stuff up on top. So I just kind of looked real quick in there and just kind of fixed it. And this one, this cupboard's the one that everything kind of gets, it's like my random, it's my random baking thing. I just need a little bit more storage and I'll get it eventually. But for now, I'm just kind of putting it in there where I can. I'm just going to fill up my other container with the cornstarch here. And there was a couple spices that I had when we lived in the mountains. I don't even use it. So I was like, hmm, I'm like, I'm just going to throw it away because we don't use it. It's not even, I've got other ones now. So instead of keeping them in here in storage, I decided to throw those away. And that's okay. It's like just things that I would never use anymore that I'm like, okay, we kind of like the other things. So organize that way and just looking down the bottom here and going through these real quick too. But you can't see all that because it's down. And this is my can cupboard mostly. So I'm just putting the stuff. I had piles of groceries on the floor here. That's when I come home and we put groceries away. I just have the kids make a pile on the floor. And then that way, um, like in front of the area that I'm going to be putting away. And so that way I just can just bend down and grab and put in here. So again, just kind of setting them in here. Not like a super set pattern of how we're doing things, but as best as we can do. <laughs> That's what I say. I'm like, you work with what you have. Does no good to complain. Yes, you can go build whatever you want. It's going to cost you a lot of money, but you can also work with what you have. It makes you get very um, inventive with things and, you know, helps you appreciate things and it's all good. So I'm just putting this in here because we never had a space for applesauce because we always froze our applesauce. So I'm like, I will just put this basically in the middle of the shelf. None of it will go lo get lost. So that's okay. And our handy, trusty ramen on top. <laughs> works out really good and then back into the kitchen then back over here this is a uh, more storage just more pantry kind of stuff that we put in here i had those nuts i don't like those nuts the everything nuts so i put those in greg's lunch he likes them i put our chips in here and everything's on the floor so i was trying to put some in here and again not a lot of space so i'm putting it up on top this is where it keeps some of our appliances but this unit right here these drawers and I think we're gonna take this out of here, just screws in the wall and put it on the outside because it matches our kitchen cap cupboards and use that in the, that little alcove area in my, like across from my table. I think that will work really good. And then I'll have Greg build. He's gonna see if he can push the wall out in here a little bit more. He thinks he might be able to, we'll see. And then um, build some shelves in here. And that will be really, really nice. I originally was gonna put the freezers in here, but um, he doesn't mind him in the garage. So I'm like, okay, we'll just leave him in the garage then. So this works out. We just put the hot cocoa. My kids love hot cocoa, hot cocoa packets. I don't mind doing it. I can make it homemade too, but they just like eating it this way too. And it works out this way. So I just fill these up. It's little things and treats. It's like we get that, we get microwave popcorn, even though we have a popcorn machine, they sometimes do like microwave for easiness. And then they have fruit snacks. That's like the extent of the individual snacks that I buy. And then, you know, we buy bags of pretzels and crackers, that kind of stuff. I got a lot of cereal this time, so it's easier to store out of the box, so I took it out and put the bags in the drawer. And then I'm looking down here, and I'm like, oh, this cupboard is definitely long overdue for mess. Plastic cupboard. Is everybody's plastic cupboard a mess? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, let me go through and just organize it, because, you know, most of the time, it's like they just kind of throw it in here, and because it's not always completely dry perfectly, so I'm like, don't stack it, because it'll get moldy, so I think they just set in here haphazardly, and then... Uh, you know, a couple weeks into life, it gets super messy. So I'm just going through and straighten these up so I know what I have and making it a little bit neater down here. It only took a few minutes. On my list to do, finally got to get it done. And then the kitchen here, we got a couple more things from um, Amazon here. So I got my coconut cream from Amazon. This is the one we like to make with our curry. I like that brand, it works really good. And then we also got the nasi goreng rice right here. This is like, a, I think it's a six pack you get for like under $10 and then life cereal. These seem like they're really small boxes of life cereal, but 
it was from um, Sam's Club. So we got those and then I'm looking at my fridge and I'm like, I'm not gonna attempt the fridge. I'm gonna do the freezer first. I have all my ice packs in here from shopping. So I put those over in the cupboard so I can take them out. I'm going through and grabbing things out of here. Like there's open meatballs. I have like two open meatball packages and French fries and just a lot of random things. I only like to keep in here is like when I do open some veggies or something, there's only a little bit, I like to keep that in here. The cheeses I like to keep in here and any like smaller meal kind of thing and the strawberries for smoothies, that kind of stuff. So, or actually, no, I take the strawberries out. It's more of the smaller stuff. So I'm just, I don't know, I guess I could put the cheese in the other one. It just works out good to put it in here. So let me keep popsicles. The ice I always have to move forward because it doesn't make ice if you don't keep it <laughs> moved forward. Someone, one of my viewers told me that I'm glad they did. Okay, then to the garage here. So these are two, the refrigerator freezer and the freezer movie camera over. This right here, this one has got um, all our veggies in it. So I keep my veggies and my coffee on top, froze those. So that's awesome. Um, we keep ice packs in this one. And then I do keep some uh, drawer of uh, water bottles, which we're working on using up. And then it's just the mixed vegetables in here. So those are just stored in here. And then um, I'm opening them out at the big packs. So There's easy to grab. We got lots of mixed vegetables in here. And then I put my big giant freezer packs in here. And then uh, that worked out good. So I do, and I go over to the big freezer. So this is just everything's thrown in here. So I took everything out of here pretty much and just going through and reorganizing it. Because when, you, when you're in a hurry and you're trying to shove everything in there, it's like everything gets thrown every which way. I did tell you last week that somebody put the sweet potatoes in the um, the freezer too, right? Yes. <laughs> so I let those sit on. I'm like, huh, those are ruined. <laughs> I had to throw those away, but that's okay. It made me go. We were busy and in a hurry, and we obviously did not pay much attention to uh, knowing that the sweet potatoes were in the freezer, so it's all good. So I'm just going to take everything out here. I really don't have a set way to organize this freezer. It's kind of just like however it works. It's not like I can say, oh, just this row is for this or just this row is for that because we're eating differently and things are, you know, random each month. So I try to just do what I can do, put like things together and at least be able to find everything. If there's something open, I like to keep it up in the front. So it's like, you just gotta do what you can do. But still a full freezer, so I'm thankful for that. Still some extras and staples and things from the last couple months, you know, that we had made and stuff's in here. So going through in this. And it's like, I think at this moment, my hands were freezing. I was like feeling itchy because you know, I have that allergic reaction to the um, cold. <laughs> so I was like, I'm feeling cold. I need to wear some freezer gloves when I uh, clean up my freezer, which is, you know, once a month when we get our groceries. Because for the most part, it'll stay good. I might move things around if I take a bunch of stuff out of here, but not too worried about organizing too much. It's kind of like out in the garage here, out of the space that we're in. So it's not a big deal. I think that was where my hands were frozen. And I'm just looking, I'm like, what else can we put in here? How are we going to make this work? Isn't it funny the things you go through and you have to organize in your life? It's like, I feel like you're constantly rearranging the refrigerator, constantly rearranging this, constantly rearranging that. So the only other way around is get it, get it more of them and then uh, you won't have to constantly organize them because you'll have a lot of extra space in between. But this is what we have. So I don't mind reorganizing it a bunch of times during the month if I have to. So I have my freezer here, stuff in the door. I have some bagels and some bread. On the bottom, I tried to put my potatoes mostly in there. It's like the convenience foods, some meats and stuff in there. And I try to put my hamburger on the drawer, the other chicken and ribs and beef in that second one, and then whatever I can fit on the top. So you do what you can do. And this one, again, it's got all my, it's got the coffee on top. Good place for that. You can freeze that stuff. It works really good. And then all of our veggies, frozen water bottles, and more on the bottom. All right, now to the refrigerator. This was hard. I took out one of the shelves on here because it's like, there wasn't much room between. We mostly have big, tall things, and this had more like a lot of shorter shelves. So I took one out, put it on top, and I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna need it that in here. So this is just the game of like, how is everything gonna fit in here? So I have to keep my onions in here. I have to keep my potatoes in here. That's one of those things that I never had to do before, but it works keeping them out there. I just keep them on the door and then into the house. I'm like, okay, let me get in here and organize this as best I can. Now this door on the left keeps shutting. We did get the spacer for it, but it just keeps smooshing on there and it does keep shutting on me. I'm like, mm, that's the flaw of this refrigerator. So is that for, you know what I mean? It's like we have such a large family and the amount of food that we have to eat through the month, especially if we're shopping once a month, it's like you can't, you know, make it all aesthetically pleasing in the fridge or you can just kind of put it so it's functional and you can find everything in here. You know, so I like when people refill, restack their fridge, they always look so pretty, but I'm like, yeah, that would never happen in ours because there's uh, just so much random stuff that we have. I try to shove as many eggs in the egg holder that I can. That is one thing I do enjoy is or have in here and it does work more effectively is the egg holder, smaller than a box for sure. I try to, it, you can pull it forward, so I usually kind of shove things behind it that we don't normally use. 
put the things on top that get lost and forgotten in, the, in there. Bottom has strawberries and I keep our bread in the refrigerator, just a little different on things. Our pizzas we're gonna have for dinner. Everything's just kinda shoved in there. There's, there's, there is a method to my madness in here. <laughs> I know everything is, which is good. And that's a good thing right there. I'm like, okay, let me see what else did I forget in here. I was trying to keep bread in there. And then the cheese, I um, the mozzarella cheese. I bought the cheddar cheese in smaller packs and just froze it. I'm like, I like, I don't mind it. It was only like a saved what? I didn't save. I actually paid a little bit more, but I'm like, it's okay. It, it works out. We don't eat that much cheese anymore. We really don't. So I don't mind doing this for the bags here and then just freezing it. I'm like, you just do what you can do. I'm going to stick this into the last little bag and then these are just going to go into the freezer. I like to put all my cheese in here so I have all our cheeses on the right hand side and the bottom. Then I know when I have it and then I know when I run out. Get some more bags here and then I'm going to make Greg's lunch here. He likes bologna, tomato, and mustard. I don't know. That's his favorite. <laughs> so I'm like, whatever the man likes, make for the man. So I'm just chopping up some tomatoes here, putting those on there. My kids love bologna too. They make usually a fried bologna sandwich with egg in the morning. That's what everybody's like go-to breakfast sandwich is. So different. I never, I grew up on bologna, but I just don't like it. I don't really like it at all. I haven't had a bologna sandwich in years. So, and that's quite all right. I've got them some cookies here. I got from Sam's Club. And then I think I put together the nuts that I had um, and some uh, plums and nectarines we had. Cause I was like, you like those. Let me throw them in your lunch. You can snack on them while he's working. And then we were empty that container, which worked out really good. And then his monster and soda, and then I threw some nectarines in there. And then uh, I think that was it for his lunch. And I closed it all up. Oh, I've got him candy, and that's what it was. I got him a Snickers and some M&Ms. And then I was on to, I put it together, and I usually put his keys in it, so that way he doesn't walk out the door without it, because I always used to make a sign at the door, don't forget your lunch. Well, now I got smarter, I put his keys in it, so if it sits in the refrigerator, then... He won't ever forget it. And then I was making him some breakfast here, so I made him a fruit bowl. Cut up some fruit with the berries and grapes and the nectarines. Those are really good. And then fried him some eggs. He wanted some uh, dippy eggs. So I made him three eggs and some toast. And just easy little breakfast for him. Simple and easy. I'm like, this worked out. This would be a good breakfast so we could have a little morning. He likes dippy. Anybody else like dippy? I used to like dippy as a kid, but not dippy anymore. So there's breakfast. So all of that is done. Now what we have done is gone Christmas decor shopping as well this week. So it's been a busy week of things. We did the one night, I didn't bring my camera with me. My camera is on this, my, I have a bigger camera here that I use at home. It's got a wider angle and lens. Bought this one years after I used this one. This one was great. I used my phone, my Blackberry phone for years till I got, started making money and was able to buy this one. This is my Canon G7X mark ii camera and it has been awesome it is definitely starting to see its last days i mean it's the pins have fallen out of here it films amazing but the screen is looking a little wonky in there a little bit like too much beach sand um too much you know going out with it the beach sand blows in there i think it kind of got in there stuck so i it looks like it's clear and then i go to put on my computer and I'm like, oh, there's like a bunch of like fuzzies in the corner, a bunch. So what are you gonna do? Just get a new camera. So I've ordered one, Canon had them on back order and the, um, so I got it from Amazon. It's still gonna be about two weeks till I get it. So I've been filming all week with my big giant camera. It's one of those things where this, people are like, do people see you vlogging? No, they don't even know I'm cam doing my camera because this is like such a small thing. So when I'm filming, it's like right here, put it down right here put it down nobody like sees what i do it's almost like you have your phone but this one is a whole lot bigger setup and so it's like you know bigger camera around your neck and your it looks like a big giant camera which it is and so it's one of those things you can't hide very much so you're like so multiple times yesterday when i was shopping uh, people a couple older people they're like hey and they're like i'm like hey and they're like do you want to take my picture i'm like yeah no i don't want to take your picture so I try to film a lot of people ask me why I point down my camera I don't like to film like people too much when they're shopping I get that I mean sometimes I do they're not gonna be perfect at it but I don't like to just walk around hey let me just film you so I try to keep it down when I'm walking and then when they move away I try to be respectful I'm not perfect and I'm sure I do have people in there I know I do but for the most part that's why I film down I just feel like 
I try to do that. So anyways, so I've been taking this big giant thing. So the footage is a little bit wobbly, wobblier. The stabilization in this tiny one is way better than the more expensive camera, which is interesting. But anyways, do what you gotta do, right? So it's footage. I'm like, I could use my phone, but it's like it just, my phone has good video too, but I'm like, we'll just use the camera. So anyways, it's been a crazy week of trying to film, do things, blah, 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 shopping, all these things, putting food away, running kids here, running kids there. Lots going on, but like good. So, and then this weekend is our anniversary weekend. And so I'm like, we have plans, we're gonna do things. And I'm like, you know what? Today I got up and I was working upstairs. I'm like, I have a lot to do today. Like taking my kids, we're gonna go do, we have a homeschool roller skating thing today. So we're gonna go roller rollerblading. So that will be fun. Um, branching out, finding things, it's getting cooler, able to get out more and do stuff. And so I'm like, I don't wanna spend all my day, my day in the kitchen, but I'm gonna have to make dinner. So come back, we'll do dinner, and we'll do that later on today. But for the most part, we have breakfast, cereal, lunches, sandwiches, or munchies. There's plenty of that stuff. There's chicken. There's lots of that in there. And then we can just, I'll get dinner made tonight. But I thought, let me share. Today's video is going to be just different. We're going to have a lot of different things in here. And then I'll film this weekend because I'm going to make food tomorrow morning. I thought I would get up and do my apple cider slushy donuts and make some fun things for us for the weekend, do all that. And then I'll film... Um, what we're gonna do this weekend, just something different. So you'll see that on Monday. But for today, it's just a whole lot of different stuff. So we've got Christmas decor, oh my goodness. We were driving, we had about an hour to kill before we had to pick up a child. And I was like, it's getting dark. I'm like, we can't go to the park. I'm like, what should we do? And I saw Big Lots. I'm like, let's go to Big Lots. So I didn't have my camera with me because it's the gigantic one. And I didn't wanna film with that, so I didn't even bring it with me. So I was like, let's just go shopping and I'll show what I got later. So we went Christmas shopping at, or decor shopping at Big Lots. I forget how great Big Lots is for their decor. I like love it. I know back in North Carolina, like their store, this one was huge and had so much stuff, so much great stuff. And then they even had, on a side note, Coke. I buy Coke for Greg. I think I paid, I don't even know what I paid for a 24 pack of Coke. It was a lot at Walmart. And then I went to Big Lots, they were $4 for their 12 pack of soda. And I was like, wow, that is a great deal. So I ended up getting that. And then I got a bunch of decor. So I'm gonna show you what I got there. And then um, we got like our gingerbread houses for our, because we do that every year, a little competition. And then the kids and I went to, um, we wanted to go to Hobby Lobby. So we Googled where one was and we found one. And so we drove, it's a little bit further in Sarasota, but I mean, no further than everything else is here. And so we went and it was like, sometimes everything's right in the city crazy traffic everything else this was like backwoods driving you through you know, like the country club areas and like old florida is what it reminded me of like when greg and i went to where well, we took the boys went to venice like that area reminds me of like old school florida it's like just smaller neighborhoods and like palm trees the old palm trees you know like a real palm tree like palm trees aren't super straight like these are all genetically modified the ones in my front yard are <laughs> super straight looks perfect these ones are like you know, swaying a little bit more and just like natural. And so they were just like all over the place there. And then they had cactus, which was so funny. We were driving by this house and I was like, oh my goodness, I had broken film. Let me show you here on my phone. I'm like, you gotta get a picture. This thing was gigantic. I've never seen a cactus this big, cacti this big in my life. So I was like, so let me, isn't this crazy? That thing was so huge. And then we were driving and there was like a big giant flowering tree. I've never seen any flowering big trees here. So just pretty, pretty, pretty time. And then after Hobby Lobby, which I, I was, should I show you all that here? Or would you rather, let me, yeah, let me show you all the Hobby Lobby footage here. Right, we are gonna go to Hobby Lobby. Nice, all the fun stuff. Look at all the 50% off everything. We're always looking at stuff. Oh my goodness, look at all the stuff on top. I can't wait to get to the Christmassy section. Okay, let's look at all the folly stuff. Now, here's the fall mugs. Some little fall little mugs. Let's go down there, kids. The blue's pretty. We need some table runners. All right, these are cute. That is very cute. This is for the. Oh, that's kind of cute though, too. I'm gonna make it kind of. No, this different color. I like. Pink. Okay. These are different ones. Look at these are the oh, I, brown. Those are orange. You like orange or brown? The brown. Those look like Cheetos. Yeah. Compared to these. I'm thinking these. This Cheetos. one's good. This one's kind of. We're gonna get these for the two mason jars by the mirror because I don't really have any fall ones. So yay for a hobby lobby. Okay. Hey, right. cart, come here. Here's the setup. 
It's gonna go in our mirror, so we got a fall thing. All right, we got some fall. Let's look at these tiny ones. Little mini ones. Ooh, one of these tiny mats. Oh, they got cute towels in that. Oh, so much nice stuff. Look at the little hedgehog playing thing. Look at it. Jensen, see some hot sauce? I like this. Aprons. No, we don't. Oh, I need the aprons, Maddie. But that's, oh. We, I would look really good in that. That's cute. That would, that would make my hair We'll see if we can find a Christmassy one. They got lots of fall stuff. Okay, I need a come in and cozy up. I need something for Christmas. I'm not sure which one. Look at oh that is that what you do is put that. It's a blank. Oh, just a throw. I like how you put like the material underneath the rug. I'm sure they have that for Christmassy. Other oh, pumpkins. That's cute. Oh, they've got everything. Gather so much fun stuff. Hello, fall. Oh, I'm gonna see my photos. I bet you. All this proof that changes. That's cute. Love the fall stuff. I know. Like, I got all wet. Look at the acorns. These are cute. Well, I don't have any pumpkins. Look at all the fun decorations. Look at all this stuff. The little gingerbread house that is cute. Yeah, we're gonna do something simple. Are they half, half price? Eight dollars? Okay. I think we'll get. Okay, here's 10,000 aisles of, look at all the fun stuff. There's so much stuff. We're gonna skip all that. Such cute stuff. Look at the tree. Oh my goodness. Cashmere tree is nice. It's like fluffy. Hmm. I need one of these to go behind the, I'm not sure yet. I haven't found one that I love yet. We have, we have these. Going for a little bit different. Look at the fun, the candy stuff. Oh my goodness, look at all this. It's only $19.99. Look at that tree. That's a big tree. They want some little trees. That's cute. I like the cashmere looking trees where they're kind of fuzzy. We're just gonna have to see. You wanna get some of these while we're here? What about, okay, we're gonna get little ones for our little kitchen shelf. The white is cute. So I know I gotta figure out what color we're gonna do. Look at the crystals. You can do crystal crystal. I know that's pretty. Look at the candy. We can do candy theme. Look at the candy thing. Oh my goodness. So much. That's kind of cute. For your top of your tree or like a hat. Okay, but then because it does. I think they're like three bucks at Walmart. It's cheaper. Put it down then. I see it. Look at the menu. Look at all the fun stuff. There's all our trucks. All right, we're not missing anything, kids. Ooh, look at the gingerbread houses. Everybody needs a gingerbread house. That's so cute. Gingerbread. I want to make sure we're not missing any aisles. The gnomes. Santa's. My mom has all of those. A little snowman. I just can't do a snowman in Florida. Here's some Paul small stuff. Here's all the colors. The green is so pretty. Oh, the blue. Is that the color of the Christmas tree? I don't know. Decision, decision, decision. Purple? I would do a purple tree, but you know, not very Christmassy like, but that's kind of neat too. There's, hmm, lots of colors. Here's the garland. Love the garland. I already got some, so I think we're good. So many choices. Like, which colors do you do? I'm not sure what colors would do. Oh, it's like a big giant cardinal. That's like a grandma stuff. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. 
Or if you even put a big bird. I wouldn't put it anywhere. I would what just if you did a plain one? I would buy one. I would that is so cute, Maddie. I'd buy one for Grandma. So many colors. Candy colors. Candy things. Oh my goodness, it's like red. And look at all these. Look at all the candy. Pull it back and then go forward. There you go. The donuts, you guys. Look how cute. Hot chocolate. We can have a hot chocolate, Eric, because we have one that's cute. Get your hot chocolate here. Hot cocoa bar, that's cute. Gingerbread people. Look at all the fun stuff. Did everybody leave? Hold on. Look at these are cute. I have these. That one has decor on it. Oh, yeah. fun, fun stuff. Get all the back I, I think we're gonna get one of these. I, know, I think it's instead of this. Mm -hmm. Robert, where are you going? Get all the fun decor. Here's the natural stuff. Mm -hmm. Half price. And then here's all the wreaths. We're gonna go to the next aisle. That wreath's kind of pretty. Here. Some little stuff. Merry Christmas. I think all of them have. We have some of these. That's fun. Sorry. <laughs> Here's many like ones. I good of, smells. I don't have four dollars. Everything. All their garland. I didn't see any. What? Oh, like break. Brooklyn, what about like this outside on the house? We had the black. Oh, it goes in the ground. It's metal. I guess we already got a Jesus one, didn't we? Cute. I don't really have a place to put everything. Lots of cookies and look at all the cute signs. So much fun stuff. Savior is born. So many cute pictures. We did. I don't. I don't have any of them though anymore. Cute little ornaments. We got a little. Happy birthday, Jesus. I got some little stuff. Oh, look at the days till Christmas. It's a whole countdown. This is like a nice countdown. We don't have a countdown, but it's like $11 I'm just debating. I don't really have any long places. They do have so many cute things. Joy to the world. Is that black or blue? Black. Mm, so many decisions. Like, that's so cute. I would like that on my little shelf in my kitchen, maybe. I already bought something for it, but or even in my kitchen, right? <gasps> okay, Jen, so I'm gonna get this for my kitchen right across the front. Meet me under the mistletoe. I hear my kiddos. Is it not gonna fit in there, Jensen? It's a nativity. We do have one. It's kind of a little one. It's photo for Steven. Right there, dog one. Okay. That's a cute dog. This is like everything. Look at car costume, the Grinch, everything. Oh, I, can take a photo. I guess we don't need to count down till Christmas, right? We'll just know it's Christmas. Oh, this is cute. Okay, we're gonna do this too. There's no price tag, so I don't know yet. Thinking to, we're thinking these, and then we can put them on the table. I could do napkins. Those are even cute. You can do little things on them. Little decor on them. What should we do? What would go good on top? Something. Hold on. We just gotta look and see. We just need something little, like Merry Christmas or Joy or. Let me see here. Those snowmans. I can't do snowmans in Florida. Why? It's like it's like no seashells for Christmas trees. Okay, all snowman. Look at all this stuff. Presents and look at all the stuff. You need that for Maxine. She wouldn't fit. She wouldn't like that at all. Oh my goodness! Look at all the signs outside. Potato chips. It's a dog. Get her her little dog bowl. Oh, this would be my favorite app. I could buy ten thousand. Look at all the Chris. I just bought some of these, so I know I don't need any of these. Stuffed animals. 
so much stuff. In the middle? Okay, Stephen, that'd be good. Yes, let's do the middle. Look at those. Look at those. Look at the big. I do, but which? You can stay with him, okay? You stay with him. I thought those were cute. So many choices. I want to do a mini tree for theirs. Lanterns? They're all tiny. Let's see what's in here. Something little in here? I know, it's like... She will. She'll come back. Look at these. are cute. Cart so we, I can make flamingo. Why don't you push? Get a baby one if they have them. Get a baby car. Baby Star. cars are the best. Ba oh, look at the big giant Santa mug. It's like giant. Pretty Noel. I think that's a cookie holder. No. Or it's an actual mug. It's an actual mug. Oh my goodness. That's a big mug. Wow. So many signs. That's really cute. Joy of the world. I just don't have anything in my walls. Period. Yet, so I don't think I'll do those. We got some good stuff. All these trees. I think we saw all these everywhere else, I'm sure. So much Christmas. Little cookie things. Can't you spend like a million dollars on everything? Look at the gingerbread house lights up. Reindeer everything. Oh my goodness, look at all the trucks. There's like a pink truck, a red truck. Trucks everywhere. Candles, oh my goodness. These aren't what is. They light up? Let's try me. Oh. Cute. These are cute. I'm looking for something to put on the top of that. I just don't know what yet. So snow globes. We don't want to let it snow. We don't want that. These are like stuffed animal everything. Let's get those aisles. Look, here's the things. You would want no. I would do like a lanterns right here are cute, but I don't think I need, I don't want silver. I want like that size in white. That'd be cute with the little trees outside. Then we have to get some candles. I need some kind of lanterns outside. I wonder if those would work. Maybe white. That's a fun bell, isn't it? So we're going to use those. We're going to, we're going to do some looking. Ready, Jensen? Okay. I think we're done. What was that? So like this maybe? We have to fluff it out a little bit obviously. I think there's some right there. On okay, so we're gonna get these. I just gotta get a candle I like and something for the top of this. I don't know what yet. So much cute stuff. There's something mini in there maybe? So much cute decor. I'm gonna have to come back in the spring and decorate my house. Now we're focused on Christmas, but I need to get, we we'll look for candles here. Pink everything. They always have great displays, do they not? Oh, look what they did. They put. They have Christmas trees, they don't even have candles in theirs. That's what you said, didn't you? Oh, here is a bunch more of these. Let's see if they got a tree for my coffee table. Yes, like a big giant one. Do you see something that's huge? It's for the coffee. I saw some on Amazon, like I was gonna do a huge tray. But they don't really have anything here. All right, we're gonna just do some look in here. No, that's it, decisions, decisions, how I feel right now. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back. We're only going to focus on Christmas. There's so much. And then while we're here, we're also looking for, I'm letting the kids pick out um, like a craft because I'm going to get like one craft for just something different. So I have to get ideas. So we take pictures of them with my camera. And so then they can have, um, take a picture of what item they want. I need to find some kind of candle something. Oh, here's the seashell stuff we do not want, right? Cute. Oh, this, I like this, the black. That's cute. I need to find a candle. I wonder if another storm sure would have candles, right? Because they're cute. They'd be cute for outside. I love all the craft kits. Look at all the crazy stuff up on the wall. They just stack this place so full. Okay, I'm gonna do one more run through, see if we miss anything of the candles. I just like those colors there. The trees are so pretty. That green is beautiful. I feel like cute. The Christmassy little gnomes. The 
Christmassy stuff. Hot cocoa. I need something like here. I'm gonna probably have to look on Amazon for specific candles. Okay, one thing I wanted to get is a glass vase. Someone mentioned putting that with um, shells for flowers. I thought that'd be really pretty. I just gotta find a skinny one to go like this, right? That'd be kind of tiny. I think I'm gonna have to get a big vase. I just don't know which one. I'm thinking like this, right? And I can just get put my shells around here. What's the caution? And then inside can be the flowers. Like I would have to get some real flowers. I have to buy myself some flowers. Okay, I love a Hobby Lobby. I forget how much great stuff they have at Hobby Lobby. This is like a nice part of Sarasota. I think everybody goes to at home, everybody goes to home good. So I guess it's a forgotten store, but maybe not. They have great stuff, so I am excited to go looking. Um, like I have to get some kind of candles for this here, but not something that I can put outside that's gonna melt, but maybe like the flameless kind. And then Brooklyn said maybe napkins on top. I'm not sure, so we'll have to do some looking. But we got some stuff, so that's great. So we're gonna go to another one, I'm not sure. Let's go find out where we end up. All right, then after Hobby Lobby, we got in the car and we drove back to the UTC Mall area, not back, over to the UTC Mall area, and wanted to go to um, the Home Goods store over there. I figured it'd be a lot bigger, but to me it wasn't much bigger. I mean, it was bigger, but it didn't, it was so packed full of stuff. Like, it was more like, let me drop all of my boxes and then we're gonna put them away eventually. So kind of maneuver around the store as best you can and find what you need. But, so it was, I mean, same kind of stuff. Nothing really much more than ours. Ours was stocked and good. So I feel like, okay, that's not a, I'm not gonna have to go there anymore. But we went there and found um, some, just got like a bunch of fun decor. Okay, we came over to the UTC mall. We're gonna go over to this home goods just to see if they have any more than ours. It looks like a smaller version, but they do have a TJ Maxx right next to it. So we're gonna see. This has got like every store you could ever want. Okay, just look at the big like, Christmas tree over there. there. That's a small one. We just drove by a huge one. Home tree base. Let's see what the cost is. What if it is? Those cuter than mine? Mine yes. cute, right? No, you green, but you green Christmas. We're gonna come down here and look. Look at the disco balls. Wow. They do have a lot more stuff. Can you get through there? There's all the, the good garland. Maybe they'll have the nativity thing. Right here, these cute. I don't know why Your I like Christmas trees so much. Deserves the best wag worthy gifts at amazing value. Top brand look at all the, like plush blankets and beds. I don't, that one's pretty right there. Mm, Christmassy stuff. Get a little Santa. Like Christmas stuff. Kind of the same stuff at this store. Got some little stuff here. Okay, I guess that's it. I guess we're going right to the false. Is quite cool. Some stuff on clearance. Nothing. Okay. Not a whole lot, kind of messy, but we'll see. Okay, that tons of snacks in here. It's like my dream come true. These have cute stuff here. I think it'd be fun to get these little things for the hot cocoa bar. Look at these, these are cute. That's cute to go on top of. Oh, there's like a bag of them and everything. Like $12. That's a neat idea. How many towels? Didn't I just buy towels? We just came, didn't we? They've just got such cute towels. Oh, there's more Christmas stuff. Okay, I need to go look at candles. Basically need a humongously fat candle, but I don't want to spend a million dollars on one. Huh. Oh, look at theirs. It's cute. So I just need to get like a, that's how they have candles inside. I just need one of those candles. Probably Amazon is what I'm thinking. Unless they have some here, I just don't see them here. <laughs> More Christmas. I don't know. Oh, look at their aprons. That's cute. How much is this? Like $10. That's really pretty. And I've got, I mean, everything. All the old things. There's just stuff everywhere. I wonder if you like on one of these clearance aisles. Do you see the boy? Okay, here's the seashell. Look at the seashell. That's a lot of work right there. It's tacky. It's tacky. Yeah. God, there's 
some gold. The candle in the middle. Hmm. And it's cute too. Some candles. Okay. Devin's like, Mom, you should just go get a cart because your arms are full. I'm like, I know. So I have to go get a cart. I've got a different idea for my lanterns. I'll show you when we get home. So let me go find a cart here. I mean, there's just so much. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Cute little trees. There's the community ones that are with that. So there's just so much stuff in the store, so much stuff. They're like trying to stack everything. So I got a couple ideas for my lanterns. I got a table runner and an apron. That's about it in here. There's so much, but it's like, how much can you buy up the knickknack? So I think we're gonna go ahead and be done. Okay, we haven't came into TJ Maxx. These are cute, the little, Brooke said no Florida things, but those are cute. I think I need one for the, like a bathroom even, right? I can with that. I can do a seashell tree. I'm gonna have tons of trees. Look at those trees in the back are so cute. I think it's cute with the little doors and get your gifts out. Here's like a little nativity, even though it's not. Hmm. I'm like drawn to this. I know Brooke said no beachy things. I think it's, it's like kind of cute. It's like a little beach tree. We can always put it. I guess I got enough stuff upstairs. Oh, then they kept the nativity. How much is that one? No prizes. 16 I have so many tree things. How much tree things does one person need? There's a sunset with a tree. And then over at the mall, they've got, I didn't film any of this again because I was driving and I was like, oh, we'll get it later. They had all their decorations out. I think down here they decorate big for Christmas. And so the palm trees normally have like lights all up down the palm trees all year round, but now they do the, the stem of it and then they do all the top green lights. And then they have like all the light displays outside. They have the humongous, a humongous, gigantic Christmas tree outside. I was like, oh my goodness, I, I didn't film it. Brooklyn got it. But I'm like, that is just a huge thing. I just got a little snapshot because I sent it to my dad and it was the sun was going down because I think it's pretty chilly in Michigan. It was like chilly, chilly where he was needing a fire. <laughs> so I took a picture and it was the Christmas tree and it had the palm trees and it had the sun setting and it was just beautiful. So I'm like, I'll stick that. I'll show you a little picture. I thought that was very pretty. I'm like, that was really nice. It's nice. I was wondering like, how do you feel like warmer weather for Florida, like for Christmas? Like for myself, we moved to North Carolina and I remember opening my door making Christmas cookies and I thought that was the coolest thing. I was like, this is amazing. I think one time at our house, we tried to light the fire or we had the fire going to you know, have the ambience of Christmas and it got so hot in there, we had to open all the doors. <laughs> So I'm, I like it warmer. I'm like, I can go Christmas shopping in sleeveless and tank tops. I'm like, I can do that. I'm like, is it going to feel different? I don't think so. I feel like it's a good thing. Like I could so get used to just warm weather for Christmas. Totally fine with that. <laughs> so it was very nice. So I got a bunch of stuff. I'm going to show you all the stuff I got here. Things that I had in my mind. Will we find more? I'm sure. I started to find a tree, Christmas tree. I'm like, I'm debating like what look do you go for like the mountains i had all my stuff and it was more i say rustic -y kind of mountainy kind of natural kind of stuff and i'm like i like that look that was a good thing and i'm like and then i got you know gifted that to a friend and so now i'm like what kind of look do we want to do here so i haven't really found like the color i kind of have an idea but like not really like i do i want to do the beachy vibe tree we're not doing any beachy vibe decorations brooklyn already like got me down on that she's like no beachy vibe christmas decor I'm like okay and so i'm like but can you do the tree beachy vibe? We're gonna stick it right here because this is the only open space we have right now. I'm like, so I don't know. I'm like, I might do that. The at home store, I think it filmed a couple weeks ago. They had tons of like nice blue, white, the seashells, that kind of look. So I'm like, we may do that. I don't know. I'm gonna take Greg and see what he thinks too. Cause I'm not really, I don't know yet. I haven't like decided what, what color do you want to do? What do you want to have? I don't know yet. We're going to have to see, but I got a lot of good stuff and I'm looking at my clock. I'm like, I think I have a few minutes. Let me show you. Um, all the stuff that I did get from um, 
the two stores because it's cute. I think it's cute stuff. I think it's gonna be really great. Let me show you. I think outside I filmed, we got a um, little fall sign. I did film that outside. So let me show you that clip here. So in that, I'm like looking at, I'm like, I could, I'm gonna, I'm obviously missing. Fall's gonna be done here. We're gonna move on to Christmas decorations. But I'm like thinking, I said, I was have, I have like galvanized water containers, you know, like to hold like drinks for parties. I'm like, I could have put that outside. We could put some pumpkins on there. So as we were shopping, I'm like, if I see pumpkins on clearance or cheaper, maybe we'll grab some up. But I don't know. We'll see if we find anything over the next little while. But next year, we'll do more on the porch out there. But for now, I'm like, I got a sign. I got a wreath. I'm like, that's good to go. So for, I want to be able to decorate my porch because I have a porch. That's something I've always wanted to do. Always. The mountains, we couldn't because um, the front porch, the front of the house, you could have is covered, but like no one goes there. Who goes to the front porch? Nobody. That was just my spot. <laughs> and then um, it was me and the cats. That was it. <laughs> but the side one where everybody came to was open. So I had a sign over there. I had a wreath, but it was constantly getting rained on and water. So you use the signs for like a season, maybe two. I think I used them for two. And then I had to um, get rid of them because they got moldy and they just got warped from the water. So I will be happy to have a porch that's covered and we can put things on it. So I'm excited to decorate for that. So I know I wanted to go for a wreath on the door and then have a couple, I'm thinking Christmas tree lights, which I got behind me. I wanted like some lanterns, that kind of stuff. And I'm sure we'll find some more things because we've got a big area out there, but let me show you what we got. Okay, so these I got at Big Lots. They were on sale. I think they were regular 80 and they were down to 60. So we got these two things to go on each side of the door and they got a little wooden box and the lights with the little round tips. I thought those were really cute. So I thought these would be great outside. So we got these for out there. Love to have a sign out there. We picked up this one, the Joy one right here. Joy of the World, the navy blue. I think it lights up too. So try me, let's see. I don't even know if you can see it. Let's see if we can try me in the store. Oh yeah. I don't know if we'll keep it lit up or not. The battery will die, but we got that for out there. Everything's in bags. And then I got these right here. And I got these little wreaths. I thought these would be cute. These are just a couple bucks at Hobby Lobby too. And then I'm thinking, let's put a candle in there. Well, candles are so expensive. And I'm like, I could just buy some off Amazon. Well, when I was at Home Goods, I had an idea. I saw this glass food container. I think it was is it $6.99. $6.99. It had a little cork lid on it. I'm like, why can I take this, shove Christmas lights in it, tape the, or you can put fairy lights, but I feel like those, the battery's going to die quicker. So I could put Christmas lights in here, tape the cord down the back, and then I can have this out and have it lit up. So this I think is going to solve. Look at that, like right there. That is going to be my candle. I'm thinking right. And I'll put the lights in there. It'll light up. It'll be pretty. I could even put something around the outside so you didn't see the lights, but I think it's going to be good. I'm thinking, I like this look. I'm like, that's a cheap alternative. So this, we I got one for over here as well. So I'm like, this is gonna be nice out on the porch. And then um, I think that's gonna bring that together. And you won't see, I can hide the cords and I can run the cords along the back. So we have a plug out there and they can plug in the trees and that. So this, I was very happy with this setup. Okay, the kids, they got, you know, their little Christmas sweater from Sam's Club. These were $10, so they got a pair of these Yes, they are super excited for these. <laughs> so I think Maddie, Stephen, and Autumn got those. And then I do like our fall rug. I think I got, it says Hello Fall, and it's got the black checkered rug underneath it. So I got one at Sam's Club, but it had red on it. I want to try to stay away from red just because, I don't know, I'm not going to decorate with red here. Everybody's different. That's what I got. So I'm, I got this one. So I think this will go good with probably the check rug that's there. So that is going to complete the ground. And then this one I bought at Walmart and I really like this one. So this is going to go on the door. So I'm like, that will be a nice little setup for outside. Okay. Then my table, mind you, there's stuff everywhere. I wanted something on the table and I'm like, what can I put on the table? So I got this. I thought that would be really cute on the middle of the table here. It's like, it won't be too big. I've got some, um, let me, what did I get? Let me show you. We picked up one of these. I thought that would be cute under there. And then we can put a candle in there. And I don't know, Brooklyn said maybe napkins on top. So maybe we'll put our napkins away and get some Christmas ones or something for the top. So I thought, or even like a little, I don't know, a knickknack say for the, so that is gonna go there, which I think will be nice on the table. This, I want something for across there. There was lots of stuff that had a back on it. I'm like, well, I don't wanna be staring at a back when everybody else sees the front. So I got this. I thought that would be very great because it's the same on each side right across here. So I'm thinking that will be cute up there for Christmas. 
Brooklyn's like, why don't you just decorate for Christmas now? I'm like, because it's not time yet. <laughs> we, st we still are going to go through fall time. So we got that. Here's my other, this one. So it's just a glass container. They had shorter ones, but I think the tall one's going to be good. Okay, this is something that one of you guys suggested. We have all of those um, shells. And someone said, get a candle thing and put a vase in the middle. So I'm thinking this... And then I can fill the outside with all of our shell findings. And then have a, a bouquet. I'm, not, I'm gonna have to get some flowers. Craig, you're gonna have to give me some flowers here. <laughs> Put those in the middle. And then we'll have, I think that work. I was like, do I need a bigger one of these? I don't think it needs to be even with it. Would oh, that be weird having the shells up to here? We're gonna have to see how that works. I might have to get another one of those, but we'll, but I think that's gonna work. So then I can have that out. I was like, is that too big? But I'm like, I can stick it in the corner in the kitchen, even on the table. So this, so I can't, I can't, I, to, I can't remember who told me, but awesome. I think that'll be a good idea for all those seashells because we have a lot of seashells. All right, what else do we get? We got batteries for my old camera. Okay, this I got for my new table runner. I didn't like the Christmassy ones. I didn't really find one that I love, so I thought I can get this. I got this at Home Goods, and then I can decorate it however I want, and we can even leave it. It'll match in here. That'll work. And of course, you have to go for an apron. I don't know why, but I love my aprons. So I got this one. I thought that was a cute fall one. I know I'm going to be using it just for a little bit, but I thought that was really cute. So I will be wearing that. And then, we, did we get that? No, that was an Aldi thing. This is a child thing. Okay, we got some soap. This was a dollar at Big Lots. So I'm going to put this um, in the bathrooms because they Brooklyn bought some Bath and Body Works ones. And I'm like, that was like a lot of money. So I got those ones. And then I got these ones for Christmas. They were a dollar for the bathrooms. I thought that was good. And then let's just move on to these. We do Christmas gingerbread house competition every year. <laughs> That's what we do. These were two for 10. So we got a couple kids picked up peanuts. I got an Oreo one. We got a Candyland one right here. They had a Swiss Miss cocoa one right here. And then we had M&M. So they are definitely have a whole lot. So those will be good. So we do that. That's something we like to make one of our weekends in Christmas or December. So I just got them now. I'm like, well, I have them. They're ready to go. And I picked up some of these. I told myself my mom would buy these every year, every year. And I've like, I like them. I don't even know if my kids, is, they've had them at grandma's, <laughs> but I was like, I feel like I need to get a tin of these. So I got some, I think she usually gets the blue ones, the blue tin ones, but I'm sure these are exactly the same. So those are going to be Christmassy. And then you can't go without getting a candle. So I got, look at this one, golden maple pine cone. Yeah, like that smells so good. Like woodsy, but like sweet on top of it. So it's like the both scents I like, like a woodsy kind of vanilla scent. So that's good. Okay, so way over there on those shelves on my wall, for now we have those. I'm thinking this. I thought that was really cute. I think Brooklyn picked that one out. And then I even have this one. So that was kind of, it's the tree thing this year. So that is this, this was one at, did we get this somewhere? I think we got this shopping somewhere. And then I got, let's see, then we picked up this. I don't know if, I was thinking for that thing over there. I don't know, we'll see, we might use it. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm trying to think what else do we get for over there? I thought about a couple more things. I'm looking around, is there anything else hidden? No, okay. Hmm. But I have pine cones, all that kind of stuff we can use. I got these because it was at Hobby Lobby to go in over here. I have these things next to our mirror. And so, um, yeah, see big giant camera. Instead of putting those, I just grabbed what I had. So these will go in here for fall. Just these little setups, cause I don't have anything. These are more springy, but that's what I had. So I got those, this will go in front. And then we got towels because you can't pass up towels and they're cheap. Big Lots has good towels, nice and fluffy. And these ones, those are Brooklyn's choices. Is that it? I think that's it for our haul for, is that it? So we got some stuff here. This is a star, I mean, <laughs> I had to laugh. I'm like, this is just crafts and activities. And we just got like these little decorations right here. But over here, but this is kind of like what I wanted to decorate. It's like, that gets me started at least for decorating. It's like I wanted something for the porch because everybody decorates their porch here. So I'll have a porch now. I wanted to do under the TV here. So that is where I got, um, remember my last home goods when we went to our local one, I got the garland and we got, we did get a couple, we got a couple trees. I'm just not sure what I'm going to put up here. I don't know. The garland will be good up here. I might leave it more 
we'll see. I'm not, I'll put it up and see, like a couple candles. Um, that's how I decorated my mantle. I had more just the garland. I put a couple candles, pine cones, that kind of stuff. So I do have a lot of that. So I'm, I'm not sure, but I did get that started. I might just get a couple candle stands, put thicker candles. I don't know yet. I'll have to put it up and see. So this will kind of be covered. And then we don't have anything in our walls even right now. <laughs> so everything's empty. So I, my decor would be literally, let me go this way. Is that too bright? Let's go like this my dining room table so i'm like we've caught that covered and then across the top there and then um the little shelves next to the clock i'm thinking that's it and then if the other place for now that's for now we don't like this has got you know school stuff all over it so not a, not too much to decorate there and then we'll put the tree right here that'll take it up upstairs we have the tv room but that room right now has got video games and they have a bunch of different councils and they're just pretty much all over the top of it. So it's not like a set place to have decorated and it's mostly the kids hang out for now. I'm like, so I don't really need to decorate up there at all. I'm thinking like, why not? Like just don't even worry about it. So that's, I don't have a ton of areas here, which is a good thing. Eventually, yeah, I'll get a photo. There were some great pictures. I love the one at um, Walmart. I think it's the cream one. I think it says, come let us adore him. It's like light brown. I love that one. I'm like, I should get that and just stick it on the wall. But I'm like, I don't even have pictures on my wall right now. So I'm like, why would I get a photo right now? In time, in time. When we were at Hobby Lobby, I was like, wanted to go to all the decor. And I'm like, not even going to walk by it. Not even going to go to the decor area. It'll be good to be able to get go in there. I like, I do like home goods. I like that home. Those have great things. But Hobby Lobby, I'm a Hobby Lobby girl. So I can't wait to go back after Christmas and start looking for some spring decor, house decor, more of just house, all year round decor, I think I'll call it for after. But for now, we'll start with the Christmas. So I feel like I got some good stuff to start. That's a good thing. We'll, you know, I'm sure as we're shopping more, we'll pick up a few more things or I'll decorate and then I'll go, okay, that looks good. Now I need something for here. I need something for there. And that's how it goes. That's how you decorate. It's like you just, I had my head, I had different areas to do and I'm like, okay, that's a start. And now we'll go from there. And then when I set it off, I'll go, okay, I need a few more things here, or whatever. And then you just kind of keep adding to your things or wait until after Christmas, get them on clearance. That's a good thing to do too. So awesome. Okay. So I'm going to stop my chat. And back you don't even know where I went but we went this morning to that homeschool roller or not roller skating rollerblading roller skating it's skating skating event so we had a good time it was our first time going and very very good kids had fun and um it's funny because we went they loved to roller skate and a roller I say roller skate roller blade when we lived in the mountains we'd go to South Carolina and go and so and those skates were really good well this place this the roller blade skates were not good at all they were very worn and used the roller skates we're in great condition. So as we're sitting in there, cause I'm, I'm like looking at all the hundreds of other kids. I'm like, they all were in the roller skates from the place or they had their own roller blades. I'm like, it's cause they know those were so bad. So as I was sitting in the place, I was literally getting my kids shoe sizes and ordering them roller blades so they can have their own pair of roller blades. Cause those, they're, they're, they're poor ankles, they're poor ankles. Like some of the laces didn't even come up around the ankles. So they're like, you know, twisted and turn. I'm like, oh, you're feet are going to be so much pain today, but they didn't care. They were having so much fun. It was good. It was a good couple hours that they got to have fun, play games, and it was just a good time. Good time. You know, you can take your kids to an event like that and you're like, just a nice time where they have fun and do something they all can go to, which is a good thing because it's hard finding sometimes for everybody to go to at the same time. So I'm thankful to do that. So I got home and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make dinner right now and then I'm going to head back out the door tonight when I drop broken off at work. I'm going to go get my nails done today. So I used to do my, I was saying my anniversary is this weekend. I'm not doing it for my anniversary. I'd like to have it done for my anniversary, but I'm having it done because I like to have my toes and nails painted. Like usually women do in the summer right because your toes are always out well for i was doing mine even in the mountains like every few weeks and or not few, like three weeks when you have to get them done and then we moved here i got them done for a few times then i just stopped and because why oh wait because life happened and it got so busy and i was like okay i'll just let them you know relax for a little bit because that's good to do and build up the natural nail bed but the problem the problem is i have what kind of shoes do you wear in florida like, do you ever wear close to your shoes? I have some on right now, mind you, because and the reason why all my shoes are all open toed shoes, <laughs> because why it's hot, it's nice. So 
what's the worst thing is looking down and seeing your toenails all needing, you know, painting, needing clipping, all of those. I do clip them, but you know what I mean? A pedicure done. And so I'm like, and before I moved here, I'm like, I am not going to wear any more closed toed shoes. I'm going to have flip flop sandals every day of my life or barefoot. And, um, and what happened is uh, my, sh my pedicure is done and I'm like, Ooh, I can't have my toenails all sticking out right now because everybody else's are all done. So it's little things in life. So I'm going to go get my toenails done and my fingers done. So something I do, that's what I like to do. Some people go get their hair done. I don't do, I do my own hair, dye my own hair, cut my own hair, but the nails, I like to get the nails done. That's one thing I started doing the last few years. And I'm like, that's a good thing for me to do. That's something for me. I don't never did, never did, never did. I look at my girlfriend would sit there and do her pedicure and her manicure and her nails look great. And I'm like, how do you have time? I don't even have time to cut toenails or fingernails. And it's just like a chore. It's not my favorite thing to do. Like I don't love, like some women love it. They love painting their nails. They love doing a manicure. They love doing it themselves. I do not. I don't have that gifting to make it like smooth shape, like the shape. I just don't, I just don't have it. Like makeup, not the makeup pro. Maybe I'd wear more if I was better. I don't know, but I'm just not my gifting. And I recognize that. So I happily pay someone else that has a gifting to do that. So I'm going to do that tonight. So my Friday is going to be, I'm going, going to be going in there. I'm doing dinner. I'm cooking hamburger right now and um, doing the chicken, all the chicken from the rotisserie chicken. I'm separating that into bags, get that in the freezer. And then I'm be heading out here in about, we got about 45 minutes. So time is flying. And then my night's going to be nails. And that's going to be it. That's what I'm doing today. That's it. And then tomorrow is the weekend and I'm going to film the weekend. So you'll get a weekend vlog for Monday. So it'll be good, but it'll be nice. Just a good Friday. It's like, it's been a long week. It's been a long, long week. So it'll be good to go. Just kind of relax for a little bit and sit and chill and just, uh, get some pampering done. So let's go in. I'm not talking in there because Brooklyn is watching the show in there. So I'll do a voiceover on this, but we're making beef stroke, not beef stroke. What am I making? I don't even know. What am I doing? I'm doing no. shepherd's pie, shepherd's pie. Cause I've got all those mashed potatoes. So I'm just going to cook the hamburger. I'm going to put some onion in there. I'm doing spices. I could chop up onions. I'm just not going to, I'm in a hurry today. And we're going to put some beef broth bouillon in there. And then I have cream mushroom soup. I'm just going to mix it. Should I mix it all in with the meat? Yes. Let's make a whole meat mixture. Let's do that. Start putting it on top. And then I'm going to put that at the bottom of a casserole, put the mashed potatoes on top, veggies in there, and then mashed potatoes on top. Do I do cheese? I could do half cheese. Okay, I'll do half cheese and that'll be it. And then put it in the oven. I'm going to bake it. I'm leaving. So it'll have to be how it turns out. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I've got some salad I'll pull out and I got the Cuban bread I took out of the freezer too. So it's going to be delicious and yummy home cooked meal because today would be a day I'd go. Let's go get more corn dogs or hot or, you know, macaroni and cheese. But I've had that a lot this week. Had a lot of really easy meals. So gotta make something so it's gonna be good so let me go in we'll get that rolling and we'll get it my day rolling so i can go enjoy some a little bit of nail time so let's go and make the dinner So dinner is in the oven, it's doing its cooking, and then I pulled out the Cuban bread, the salad's in the refrigerator. So what I'm gonna do, I have to leave it in about 40 minutes. I'll see if it's done before I go, and then I'll just have, um, Autumn is gonna be in charge of dinner. She's gonna take the bread and put it in the oven just for a few minutes to crisp it, and they'll have that for dinner tonight, and then I'm um, with the salad. And it'll be easy, I'll come home, I'm going my nails done. Greg's here, he'll be with the kids too. He's out doing, he's working on our pool, so lots, lots of stuff in the pool. You know, you move into a house, you don't just get handed. Like here, everything works amazing. No, there's lots of things people haven't done for years. And so, which I understand, I get it, life and uh, happening. So he is going to be busy working on that. I'm going to get my nails done. It'll be a good day. It's a good day. It's been a good Friday. Busy, but like good day. Good to see the kids have fun and 
roller skating. I mean, roller blading is way fun, right? Like everybody loves roller blading. So, well, I don't know if everybody does, but they do. <laughs> so do that. I was gonna, I'm like looking at the house. I still have piles in my bedroom to put away. I put all my um, groceries away, but my bedroom, I just set everything in there. And then I'm like, okay, we're not there yet, but it's okay, another day, another day. It'll, it can, that stuff can sit till the weekend, until Monday, if worst case scenario. I got piles in the living room, a basket of laundry. Whatever works, right? If the piles sit there for days, that's okay. If they sit there for a week, who cares? <laughs> so and my Sam's Club order showed up. Frosted Flakes. And everybody needs one of these. Gigantic Miracle Whip. So we have the real Miracle Whip. <laughs> I know it's cheap in the store. We're just having this forever. But I don't know. We'll see how much we eat up. So I'm just glad to have the real stuff because the old stuff I just do not like. So real Miracle Whip. And I'll probably just put this in there. You can take it. Well, I'll take it out of the bag. I'll take it out. Put this in the drawer back there. Another package just showed up. This is from Miss Barbara. She gets these amazing candles. They're odor eliminating candles. They smell so, so good. So this one is vanilla bean. So good. It just, can you smell? Can you smell that? I can't smell that. That smells so good. Pumpkin. Oh my goodness. These are just great candles. You know what? It's good because this house, you know, like your house smells like your house. Well, this house does not smell like us yet. The last house, I went and washed all the walls in the house after moving in because they had a dog. Oh, they had a German Shepherd. And I would just sneeze and I'm like, why am I not being able to breathe? I'm highly allergic to dog. Long hair, not short hair. But uh, Ruby had a dog smell scent that I was allergic to as well. So it's different. Like Maxine just is not, she doesn't like shed. She doesn't have any of that. So hers doesn't bother me. But Ruby, she has like a musky dog scent. So that doggy scent and the hair just makes me like not be able to breathe. So the house, they had a, um, oh, they, had a shepherd, they had a shepherd dog. So I was like, even though we vacuumed, washed the carpets, did all that, it was the walls. So we went and washed all the walls in the house. And then it was like a whole lot better. It took a while to like, go through the vents, all that kind of stuff. But here, I mean, they had a tiny, they had a tiny dog, just a little tiny. I think it was like this big little mini dog, <laughs> like a little tiny toy dog. But it doesn't smell like dog, but it just smells like, like somebody else's house. So like, I know the other night I came in and I was like, and the air's on. So when the air's on, it didn't notice it like at all. And so the other day we came home and the air was off because it hasn't been that hot. And I was like, Ooh, the house smells like the other people's house. <laughs> so I'm like, I need to get my home to smell like us. And so I need to, we will, Greg's uh He's been busy with work and stuff and gone. And so it just, uh, it makes like the not, like I'm like, I should, I need to go wash all the walls or paint them, but I'll probably wash them first. I don't, we're not ready to paint yet. Just there's the time frame to do that right now. It's just not happening. So that's okay. So I'm like, I just need to go and wash every single wall. So we'll get that. I clean my cabinets, wash the cabinets here, wipe that kind of stuff off and the front, but the walls I did not scrub. So I need to do that to get our smell. So anyways, these candles will be great because they are Guaranteed to eliminate household smoking, cooking, and pet odors safety and effectively. So she got us some of these before, I remember. They were really, really good. So thank you, Miss Barbara. So good. Okay, my food is done. Um, I just covered it with foil, a little bake for a few more minutes in there, and I'm leaving. I'm heading out. I'm going to go get the nails done, and I'll be good. Come back. It's, it's a good day. It's even though I'm like still going to be busy Friday, but I'm like, at least I get to go sit for a couple hours. So that's a positive. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I got just got back and just ate dinner. It was really good. So I got Tuscany. Look at I got orangey kind of reddish with brown I like it it was very nice I was gonna I'm like I was driving there taking Brooklyn to work and I'm like ah she goes what kind are you gonna get I'm like probably just burgundy she's like mom you always get burgundy I'm like I know it's easy I know what color I like it and she's like why don't you get something like blue or green or something I'm like she's like her orange I'm like I can't get orange I said orange is like I'm thinking like orange pumpkin color and she's like no mom like an orange like your purse color type thing so she found this one I'm like that is actually really pretty so Tuscany nice little color so my day is gonna be coming to a close it's been a long Friday didn't even do any food today but it's just been a long long day today but good so I am looking forward to our weekend Come back on Monday because I will be doing some food because I'm going to get up tomorrow and make food for the weekend, anniversary weekend, and enjoy our weekend out, which I'll film a little bit of that. And then um, it's good. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, Christmas shopping and all the fun stuff. And all I'm thinking about is those lanterns. And I'm thinking I should fill them with pine cones and lights and put them outside right now. I feel like that would be really pretty. So I might do that next week. I might do that next week. This week's then it's going to be busy. So maybe next week I'll decorate and stick those out there. I think that'd be really pretty. So, all right, you have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. Have an amazing weekend. Get outside, maybe do some hiking or just walk outside, breathe some fresh air, whatever you can do in your world there. And then I will see you again on Monday. 
for another video. Come back, we'll be doing some food for the weekend. So, all right, we'll talk to you soon. See ya, bye.